Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Amanda from Simply Amanda Lee and I post weekly videos and all things home organizing, cooking, cleaning, general mom life, and getting it all done. So if you're into that sort of content and you're new here, subscribe. Um, and if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, today's video, we are going to be cleaning and organizing my kitchen. We've lived in this house for six months now. And while I do really like a lot of different systems I have going on, on in the kitchen, there's a few that aggravate me a little bit. So I wanna tweak them and move things around. I'm actually moving quite a lot around more than I anticipated. I'm also going to be doing just some general organizing, cleaning, and we're gonna be switching out some utensils, kind of creating cute little spaces around my kitchen. It is the evening. Um, Dustin is about to take James to baseball practice. And so I'm gonna work on that a little bit. It might be a couple of days long video, um, just cause that's realistic for my life is to kind of work on things in sections. And this month is kind of like my deep, or this week is my, the deep cleaning of my kitchen. So I want to just incorporate all that together, but we'll see how much deep cleaning I get done because it's never good to do, at least for me, a deep cleaning project the same week that I have an organizing project. So it, it's like I set myself up for failure because I never get it all done with how busy we are. So anyways, I hope that this video motivates you to tackle your space um, or any space that you need done in your house. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start by showing you all the before of the areas that we're going to be working on. This is underneath my kitchen sink. And while I do pretty much like this system, it needs just a little bit of refinement. And this two bin small trash can situation has got to go. So there's definitely a solution for that. And then we need to put those SOS pads away as well as the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. And then this is my kitchen utensil drawer. And it, to me, it just feels a little chaotic. Obviously I had a system, but it wasn't the best. This this is actually the cabinet next to the stove and I love this idea of kind of having your oils in a cabinet. It just doesn't work well for us really just because we don't have enough cabinet space. This is all of our supplements and some glasses. This is next to the fridge, which makes sense, but also doesn't make sense. I didn't like those two items paired together. And then this is our plates. And then right to the left of it, we have all of our bowls and things like that. This is kind of the only space for these things when we moved in because I wanted to do that oil and spice cabinet right there, but I just don't think it's necessary. So anyways, we're gonna start with underneath the kitchen sink. And so we're gonna go ahead and just take all of this out, get a nice blank space going, remove these trash cans. Dustin was about to pull the whole unit out and like unscrew it and everything. I was like, no, just wait, let me try something first and we'll see how you like it and we can go from there. So we definitely needed to get everything wiped down and these, I don't know if you guys can see right here, but there's a lot of oil stains underneath or product stains underneath here. And it was like that when we moved in, I originally was gonna line it and then didn't for whatever reason, I did buy the liner, which is the liner you guys are gonna see me use here today. But to me, this cabinet is just so dark. So I had a couple solutions that are gonna help with that. The first is going to be just putting a nice bright white liner down. And then we're also gonna brighten it up by something you guys are gonna see in just a little bit. But first we have to get this cabinet measured and it's not gonna be absolutely perfect. I think that's part of the reason I don't love doing liners is just because I feel like I never measure them just precise and just so. This is like one of those things if I, I would definitely pay somebody to do in my whole house because I hate doing it that much. I'm also working on changing out most of my utensils. So I just got these purple and pink scissors for a pair. I think there was like $10 on Amazon um, and they have covers for them. You're gonna see later on all of the new utensils I got so far anyways. And if you don't like pink, I'm sorry, they're all pink, but that's just what I like. And now I'm just filling up these clear jars with these scrubbies. I actually don't use these, Dustin does, but I wanted him to have easy access to them and I wanted them to look pretty in my cabinet. So they are decanted now. And now I'm just adding in the magic erasers to my sponge and eraser drawer. I was out of them and then I actually almost bought these again at Costco because I hadn't decanted them. And so guys, this is why organizing your things is so important because when you don't, you buy multiple things that you don't need. Also, this kind sponge is terrible. Don't buy them. They're really pretty looking, but just stick with a, a white scrub mommy or some other brand because they just are really not great. That whole front part pulls off. 
anyway so now i'm just decanting my mineral oil i don't know why i hadn't done this before because i've decanted most things but i decided just to go ahead and pour this into a glass bottle and i use this mineral oil to take care of my wooden spoons and cutting boards and i also use it to polish my stainless steel so any products i can buy that serve like a two-for-one purpose really helps me make maintain a low inventory So this is the trash can we ultimately went with. Dustin loves it, I love it. He doesn't want to remove this trash system now. I'm so thankful for that. I love that it's white because it really brightens up the space. It makes it cohesive. And I'm just adding my trash bags to the bottom of the trash can. That's like a huge tip. I don't know if it annoys you guys to go get a trash bag or not, but for me it does. So I just put mine at the bottom of my trash can and I don't mind changing it. And now we're just going to fill up this Not So Lazy Susan. This girl works hard in my house. I have these things everywhere with my scrubbies mineral oil a wood cleaner a fabric spray my usual soap pump and then a hand soap and a dish soap refill and that's all that I keep underneath here guys I like to keep it pretty minimal so I know exactly what I have and so I don't overbuy or bring unnecessary items into my house to clutter things up in this side shelf, I'm adding a baking soda, my extra mop heads, heads, cloths, whatever it's called, glass cleaner, granite cleaner, and multi-surface spray. And then I decided to go ahead and cut an L shape to put it around that wood that's still exposed underneath there. I thought about actually having Dustin remove it and like unscrew the whole system and just put a solid piece of over top of the wood and then having him screw the system through this. But I, I thought that if I needed to change it, that would be such a huge pain. So although I don't love that it's PC, I think it just makes the most sense. So now we're just unpackaging some of my new kitchen utensils. We're gonna get those all washed up so we can start organizing my kitchen utensils drawer. And also I wanna let you guys know that I went ahead and bought silicone inserts for the air fryer. I've been toying with getting them for a while now, but the last straw was when I made Brooke tofu the other day and it stuck to this air fryer so bad that it took me three days of soaking and cleaning to get all the tofu out here in this video I'm still working on it so I went ahead and ordered those and I got them in today I actually washed them and used them and you guys are going to see them in an upcoming video they are fantastic I got really thin cheap ones and I think that they work really well you can also get thicker ones but I highly recommend the food still came out really good and crispy Adding lighting like this is an inexpensive way to really make your house feel more luxurious and we really wanted to brighten up the space more as you guys know so we decided to add in the actual lights. These are 3M which I absolutely love. They run on I think three AAA batteries, super easy to replace and you don't have to replace the 3M tape when you replace the batteries which is amazing. The front cover pops off. We absolutely love them and it's like the perfect finishing touch to under the kitchen sink. And now we're going to start working on these cabinets. So first is a supplement cabinet and I had my water glasses here because it makes sense, right? Take your supplements with your water next to the fridge. Unfortunately, we can't get our reverse osmosis run to our fridge because we live on a slab house. We actually can, but it's a whole process and, and it, it includes remodeling the spare bathroom that's right next to it or doing a little bit of remodeling in it. So we plan to do that just not right now. So I wanted to have this make the most sense for right now. And so I decided to actually move the supplements to this cabinet because this is right next to our reverse osmosis. We have had a spout put in on our countertop. And so it makes sense to have the supplements here and then the cabinet to the right of this have it be the actual water glasses so i'm using that little shelf that i showed you guys just a second ago i love that thing it would be so good for spices obviously it works well for supplements or just anything that you need to display there's my not so lazy susan again working hard girl i see you do you um I'm just trying to sorry anyways i distracted myself just trying to put together a little kids lazy season to make it easy for me to access the kids vitamins and i have to say i've been so much more consistent since i put this in so now this is the oil and kind of spice cabinet with my cookbooks and so i'm actually going to end up putting that in this cabinet right here it makes the most sense because i wanted to get a little bit more space for my homeschool so this middle shelf is going to be all of my cookbooks i don't have many i prefer to just do it online but these are my grandmother's and then a cajun one that i really love because cajun food is my favorite you guys know if you're not new here and then on the bottom shelf i'm actually going to add in some of the kids school books and since we've been doing kitchen since we've been doing kitchen whoo girl get your coffee 
since we've been doing a homeschool at the bar lately instead of having a homeschool room upstairs this just makes the most sense because it's literally right behind where the kids sit i don't know what i'll put up top just yet though now i'm starting on the kitchen utensils drawer and i love these gloves so much so easy to clean but I unfortunately wasn't able to keep them in this drawer. You guys are gonna see though that I tried really hard. They started on the left and they just slowly worked their way to the right of the drawer until I had to take them out, <sighs> which isn't ideal, but they are hanging now right above this on the inside of the cabinet. So still pretty easy to access. I'm happy with that. And I'm also thinking about adding in that white liner to this drawer but the downside to that for me is i think that these bamboo dividers make this drawer look really custom because they match the bottom of it and i'm kind of wondering if i add the white in will they look less custom maybe but i hate seeing those grease stains it just irritates me let me know in the comments if you guys think i should add a liner and let me know also if you are pro liner or you're against liners or maybe not against them you just don't prefer to use them or don't have them in your house i feel like it's such a 50 50 split it's like either people line everything in their house or nothing in their house. So now we're just getting this face wiped out, get it nice and clean. We've already vacuumed it up. And by the way, that little vacuum has come in such handy over the years. I love that thing. It typically stays in my kitchen, but it works so well, like in the bathrooms and things like that too. So now I'm just going to start to fool with this and it is going to be a little bit back and forth. Now I did plan for this organizational project kind of where I wanted everything, like what cabinets I wanted to move everything to, but I didn't micro plan it, meaning I didn't plan exactly how things were going to be laid out within the drawers or the cabinet. So it does take me a little bit more time to work through it. But as I'm going through, I'm really taking the time to think about where these things should live. And that's one of the biggest tips I can give you when it comes to creating systems is whether you plan and out before or during really take the time to think about the natural flow of the space because it's going to save you from disorder as well as having to recreate systems unnecessarily and reorganize unnecessarily so for me i knew that i needed my spatulas as close to the stove as i could possibly get them and then i'm going to also readjust and move these spoons because i realized that i would much rather have my tongs right next to the spatulas because i grab for those all the time and the spoons are going to move over to the right and then in between actually my tongs the rest of my utensils and my spoons i'm actually going to have my baking goods which i wouldn't normally have but for me this is actually a visual a visual cue for my children because they put all of the dishes away that's their chore and it's a visual cue that only my tongs and scissors go in the space that they're in right now and that that baking drawer is that kind of divider where it's like two different types of items so i'm hoping that they'll put them back a little bit neater this way because they were definitely all jumbled up before and that's a big tip though i could just give you if you are somebody who doesn't put things back where they go to give yourself little visual cues cues like this i do it for me in my closet and it works really well and now we're starting on this cabinet to the left of the stove and i'm just pulling out the knives and all of the oils and i really don't use that much in this cabinet so it really did not make sense for me to dedicate an entire cabinet to all this stuff i'm pulling out my measuring cups some dry yeast which i almost never use except for when i'm making naan and then a timer we're gonna get this wiped down really good and then we're gonna go ahead and just start putting in my plates and bowls in this area my new dishware just came in today so i still have to work on getting that actually washed today so i can put it in my cabinet and i ended up getting some that have a gold rim they're white with a gold rim which i might regret because i can't heat them up in the microwave but they're just so beautiful that i don't care i'm gonna keep all these which honestly i've never bought in my own set of plates before now that i'm thinking about it because these on the right are my grandmother's and then those are the fiesta wear are from my mother-in-law so besides like stuff i found at thrift stores i don't think i've ever bought in my own like real set so and now we're just gonna move every single thing off the counter so we can create a little oil slash spice station right here next to the stove i thought that that made so much sense because this is where i'm going to naturally just grab for things and i thought that if i decanted it nicely that i would keep up with it better than i did in that cabinet which for me i think really just with having kids decanting has become so important to me because making things visually appealing, and I know I've said this before, helps me to put things back properly, which reduces the amount of work that I have or reduces the amount of time that I have to have like 
a, a full cleaning week because things are so out of order, if that makes sense. I just kind of pick up and put back on the go now and having things decanted helps me do that. So it feels way less overwhelming to clean up a little bit at a time as opposed to cleaning up a ton of stuff all at once. And so having things displayed nicely just encourages me to put things back immediately where they go instead of letting them lie about. I'm really loving the look of these oil bottles that I found. And by the way, if you're new here, I'll link everything that you see in the video today in the description. And I also picked up this acrylic tray as well because I wanted something that was easy to wipe out. And then in the second, oh, the first bottle is olive oil, as you guys saw, and the second one is balsamic vinaigrette. I actually never use balsamic vinaigrette, but I want to use it more often. So I'm hoping that this will encourage me to do that. But also I think these oil bottles would be really great actually in a coffee bar area and you could put like like your caramel syrup or vanilla or whatever floats your boat i think it would look really nice and also the stickers have labels for all of that included so they're meant to be used that way but i want you close still looking for some new pepper and salt grinders these are the automatic ones that i have now but the salt one definitely didn't work very long after i got it so i'm just going to kind of keep a lookout for those while i'm out because i haven't found any on amazon that i really like anyways now i was just putting those glasses away and then adding in a little command hook and then after i had done all that this is kind of what was left over in the kitchen it's just a little bit chaotic i got the boxes everywhere and stuff that i hadn't sorted so now it's time to go ahead and sort all of this stuff and get this space nice and cleaned up thinking about the way that you know me no one ever cared like you care for me you're such a bright star in the dark space So now that the first part of the project is completed, I'm just going to play around with, with the decor a little bit. I really do like the flowers on this tray, but I ended up moving them because I felt like they were hidden just a little bit back there. So I swapped it for the sparkly pumpkin and I'm also going to go ahead and remove these prints that I have. I do really like that they give a fall vibe to the kitchen, but I'm in a season where I'm so busy that I just need to reduce visual clutter a little bit. And now I'm just gonna wipe down the stove a good bit. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this week is actually my deep cleaning week for my kitchen. And so I knew I wasn't gonna accomplish it all, but I definitely wanted to make sure everything was a little bit cleaner than when I went in and started this project. I didn't wanna walk away not feeling like everything had at least a good wipe down. Normally I would go ahead and start to self clean the oven first thing when I dive into a project like this and really get in all the cracks and crevices and just nitty gritty. But again, I just didn't have time for that this week. And so now I'm just filling up my surface spray and I'm gonna to continue to wipe down the stove. I at least pulled all the knobs off, getting those nice and cleaned and put back on.
this is my baking cabinet in my center island and obviously it's gotten a little bit out of hand i definitely put a whole bunch of stuff in here from everything else i've already moved around today or then whenever i was doing this and so i wanted to give this some rhyme and reason because i will never use anything in there if it is chaotic so i have also stored in here my fridge organizers the pull out drawers and just kind of some random bits that i use and so i decided to make good use of these because i actually don't prefer the drawers in the fridge i i'm gonna go something that go with something that actually has a lid i think it'll work a little bit better in there for me so i decided to use these drawers to separate the kids aprons from my aprons as well as my slow cooking bag holders so i thought that made really good use of these and i'm again happy with the way that this turned out this is part of my lunch command station. You saw me organize this in one of my back to school videos. I did have all these sauces and condiments kind of just hanging out. So I wanted to put them all in one bin. So it's really micro organized. I thought it would be a little bit easier getting ready in the morning. And I'm just adjusting my kids lunch boxes a little bit to accommodate for that new bin being in there. It's the next day and yes, I'm still working on this kitchen. This is why I give myself a week of our deep cleaning video. Anyways, I just got in a new pink whisk, surprise, surprise. So we're gonna get that washed up, probably do some more dishes and get that put away. And then we're also gonna work on steam cleaning our bar stools. They were in terrible shape. I, I was washing their covers, but the covers that I got, I really don't recommend them because they just, everything goes through them. They're not water resistant at all. And so they still get stained even with the covers on them and steam cleaning it you guys are going to see well i didn't get an up close shot but basically it did nothing uh, it did get you know some dirt and grime out but it definitely didn't remove the stains but i do have a solution for that i've already shared it before but this time i try to do something just a little bit different and maybe a little bit more extreme and it worked great so anyways i did end up getting a new steam cleaner though the one that was in one of my last videos that you guys saw where i was steam cleaning my son's bed it leaks so bad and it's just progressively gotten worse i've only used it a few times so i definitely took that one back and then i finally like read the reviews because it was just like a whim purchase i needed a steam cleaner or a handheld steam cleaner so i just grabbed it while i was in store without doing any reviews and all the reviews say it leaks so um when i went to return it it was on sale too she's like oh just get another one i was like yeah no thanks there's probably a reason why it's on sale like that especially with all the reviews being so bad but this one works really good i've had this one actually in the past but i broke it it was definitely a user error so now i'm just actually adding in peroxide on all the stains just soaking it in peroxide and what i'm going to do is let that sit a little bit i'm going to scrub it and then i'm going to go back through with the steam cleaner and just suck up any extra water and then we're going to go put these in the sun and let the sun do its work it's basically what um what was that stuff you put in your hair in like the 2000s oh and it made your hair blonde it's basically that i think <laughs> so works the same way if you're familiar with that oh what is that stuff called if you guys know uh remind me because i totally forgot um, so anyways, just putting these out, I actually forgot them and left them outside overnight. Whoops, but it came out really good. All the stains are completely off of them. And then I got this wall all messy and about right at this point when I couldn't get these streaks off and any of the grime off of here, I decided, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my center island. So <laughs> this island is now white. It's just the paint that we had on hand, but it is paint that you can, it's what we did the uh, James's room with and you can literally just wipe it down. So definitely glad i got that project done that'll be another one that'll be on an upcoming video so definitely hit a notifications bell to stay up to date on that and this is how the cabinet space turned out a lot of those supplements i originally had in there were old so we threw them away and then i love my little kind of olive oil station and this is what we got going on for kind of my cookbooks and some of the kids school books and then of course underneath the kitchen sink looks really good this is our favorite dustin keeps raving about this one he likes that it's so much brighter and he loves the lights in there and then this is just a nice clean kitchen which has already gotten messy and recleaned like 
numerous times since this video was filmed. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.